In this video, we are going to go through the steps for how you can graph a system of equations on the calculator and use the calculator to uh, calculate and find your uh, order pair solution. So from the home screen, you can either click on graph, you can click on the letter B, or you can type uh, tap on your flying calculator twice and it'll take you to your graph screen. If when you go to your graph screen, this line up here uh, that says F of 1 um, does not appear, you click on the tab button and that will pop up. So under F1 of X, that is where you're going to type your first equation. So every equation that you type in here needs to be in Y equals MX plus B form. You do not type the Y equals, that's what the F1 of X is the same as. Um, and so the first equation for my example is y equals x minus 3. So you'll notice again, I only typed the right hand side of that equation. After you type it in, you hit enter and your first line will appear. To get the line to type your second equation, you want to click on the tab. And then my second equation for this system was just y equals 2. And then I'm going to hit enter. So you'll see the two lines. If for some reason, uh, your system of equations intersects at a point outside this screen. So you can see that x is only going from negative 10 to 10, and y is going from negative 7.39 to 7.39. If you would need to zoom in or out, you want to click on the menu, and you can see this option for zoom, and then you can zoom in or out. If uh, you kind of mess with your zoom screen and you want to get back to this standard, you can just click on standard. It also has a setting for you just to see quadrant one. So there's a lot of options there that can kind of zoom around your graph so you can see different things. When you're in a menu and you want to get out of that because you are not in the choice that you want, you just hit the escape button. So again, we can see the two graphs. Um, if you don't need these two labels and it kind of messes up uh, your window or it's kind of just feeling messy, um, you can click on those and you can click delete and it'll get rid of the label. You just need to make sure that you're only clicked on the label or it could actually delete your graph. Now, we want to calculate this intersection point here. Um, so in order to do that, you want to click on Menu. You want to choose 6 to analyze your graph, which means you can either arrow up and down or you can just type the number 6. And then we're looking for the intersection point, which is choice number 4. Now, once you have that, you'll notice that there is this dashed vertical line. So you can move this vertical line left or right by using the touchpad right here in the center. So that works as the same as the touchpad on your Chromebook. So for lower bound, what that means is to the left of your intersection point. So you want to move that over so it's close to your intersection point but to the left. And then you click down with that touchpad. And now you'll see in the bottom left hand corner it's asking for the upper bound. So that means the right hand side. As you drag that line across, you'll notice that gray section and now it is overlapping the intersection. It even has the word intersection and you can lightly see the point. So there is your ordered pair solution. Um, again, if you have your equation labels, sometimes that'll pop up on top of the equation labels, making it hard to read. Um, there is an option, you can see that little grabby hand where you can grab the whole thing and then you can kind of move it around. It is a little bit easier for me here on the computer, um, but it is possible on your graphing calculator as well. 